hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. Now you may notice we are down to four extra lives. That's because I died a bunch off camera and didn't want to show all that. No, I'm kidding. Uh, actually, what happens is every time you turn off the game and come back to it later, you have to shoot into the wild blue. Oh, no, that's not what we have to do. Uh, what happens is when you stop playing the game and you get off the wall and come back to it later, you start out, load up the game again, you start out with uh, the normal four lives. It's fairly inconsequential. I mean, the most that these extra lives are going to do are, is save us from like having to backtrack uh, through the castle where there's like no danger. Uh, and we shoot into the wild blue. We actually have to get into. Uh, you see where those pillars are. We gotta get in there. I wanna go right there. Perfect. I still remember that spot. And we come down here. Alternatively, you could aim for the uh, pole there to try and get. It's a little bit tricky to do that. And so I find it easier to just try and aim for the pillar on the uh, upper level. And that's easier to kind of hit, and it's safer too. Because if you miss the pole, you could go flying into off the stage and into uh, your death. I have to fall into the cage. This is actually another fairly easy one. We gotta get. Oh, we can go down uh, all fireman style there. So we have this press and hold B to grab. Okay, which one's B? Okay, that one's B. The jump button's B. Yeah, that's another hint. His wings only hold out for so long. So we just have to, because if you if you try to take forever doing this, the owl will eventually be like, I can't hold on to you anymore. Camera angles. We just have to drop into this cage, and that's another power star. Wow, not even three minutes in, and we've already got multiple power stars from this place. Don't worry, we do still have the red coins and the. No, there's the red coin. We kind of skipped the uh, other one. Okay, well, since we're skipping stuff. Let's do Blast Away the Wall. This is one that uh, I, I I would play this with my dad. I'm pretty sure we shared a save file on this one. We might have started as like separate uh, save files. But, like Blast Away the Wall, what does that even mean? Well, you actually have to blast away this particular wall. And yeah, the star is up there. And we were stuck on this one for forever. I mean, we didn't look things up on the internet. Uh, internet was still like in its primitive stages during this time. Now to get it, you have to aim slightly above. Okay, slightly more above. And because the hint just blast away the wall is very vague. This is the only cannon in the stage. But still, I don't know how you're supposed to know to point yourself at that wall in that corner and... That's what works. Ah, there we go. Alright, we got all the quick ones. And... A lot of stars you can do out of order like that. You, like, you can see that I keep clicking on red coins on the floating aisle, but we went and got these. Alright, now it's time for the red coins. Which means we're also going to get 100 coins. Maybe. Red coin star is going to appear there. You have to be really careful in this stage because there's a lot of ways to just, well, fall off the stage to your death. And that's kind of disastrous for trying to collect a bunch of coins and whatnot. But one thing that makes coin collecting easier 
is those piranha plants will give us a blue coin every single time. And there's one red coin. We haven't actually taken this path yet. But we have a metal cap. I don't need that. But it's there if we wanted it. And we do need to get onto this uh, womp. Not like that. Oh, it is easier to do this in the DS version. How, how did I miss the... Ouch. Uh, let's go get some health before attempting this silliness again. Because I definitely don't want to... Well, that's what happens when you die. <laughs> I think that's our first official death in this. No, wait, we we did fall down a couple times in uh, Bowser's stage. Okay, I'm going to... we're gonna go this way first. I'm gonna do this correctly. By correctly, I mean not correctly at all, Mario. I want to say Metal Cap might end up destroying those womps. There we go. Okay. I'll go back to sleep so I can uh, just do that. And there's a red coin behind there. Blue coin. Yeah, I know we got the blue coin back at the beginning. I'm going to save some of those coins for near the end. Okay, once you're awake, you don't want to. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, let's grab these coins. There's tons of coins in this uh, stage. And then if we come down here, we're going to have even more coins with this box. And the blue coins. This is the first stage that a blue coin switch is introduced. We did not have one in bob -omb Battlefield. And so when you do that, you'll hear the timer, and the timer will stop when either you run out of time, and then the coins will disappear if you hadn't collected them yet. Or they will, uh, or you collect all the coins. That will also stop the timer. Hey, look at this, we've already got 60 coins. And we can't get another... No, we can't. I'm just gonna sneak up on him and punch him in the face. It's what we do on this channel. Hey, give me that. See, there I saved myself. Now, don't let me forget about that red coin on the ramp. That'll probably be the last red coin we get. Because it's usually the last red coin I end up getting. Yeah, the one that's on this ramp. Realistically, though, I should probably get that, like, right now. Or I can just get nothing. I don't want the, uh, 100 coin star appearing there. Not that it should. I mean, the 100 coin star is going to appear wherever we pick up our 100th coin. I just don't want that place to be, you know, right there. So this is another stage where the red coins are kind of split throughout the whole uh, stage. Sometimes the red coins will appear in a somewhat congregated area. I could use that one up, but we don't need it. The only other time 1-ups become really good is in, like, the Bowser levels. 
These guys are just filled with coins as well. Isn't there... These signs will explain pole climbing and jumping. And if a mushroom starts to appear, if you just, uh... There's another womp thing down here. I want to... Hi there, I just landed on top of your head. Hey, 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 hey. Why can I not see anything? Camera angles. At this point... Yeah, before we get to the really dangerous red coins, let's actually head back down to the beginning of the stage. As long as I can get back down there without dying. Oh, that's fine. Because we have Piranha Plant here. I have done, like, a jump after doing that uh, slide and jumped over the fence and to my death. That's why I'm not... That's why I wasn't going for that jump there. Yeah, we see, we already got the 100 coins. We still have several more red coins to collect. Like I said, Wom's Fortress is easier for the 100 coin star. Because we do have those blue coins, and we have the piranha plants that are giving us uh, blue coins as well. Okay, so now... Where are you going, Mario? I don't even think he knows. We'll go back up this way yet again. Camera angles. Why does it show Mario's face next to the camera angle? I thought it only did that when... When you do the close-up. Mario close-up, that one. This one. But then it's supposed to go back to Lakitu. Lakitu's evil. Yeah, that way is just going to have a slide to our death. We need to go up this way to get the rest of the red coins. We have a bullet bill. We have this thing. Camera angles. Camera angles. The biggest enemy in this game. I kid you not. Okay, we gotta knock that down, and then we can come over this way. Gold coins don't matter. We have seven of the red coins, and the other one is on the floating aisle there. You could also take the, um, take the owl up here. And, like, there's still another ring of, uh, coins there if you need them. Now the trickiest part is getting it down there safely. I almost landed right on the thing. Yeah, the, uh, amount of fall damage you take is going to depend on how great of a height you fall from. I want to say half damage is, or half your health is like the most you can take from a fall. Uh, we're actually done with Womp's Fortress. Which means we can go... Yeah, fine. We'll do, we'll do more in Jolly Roger Bay. I mean, we're going to get all the stars anyways, so does it really matter what order we do them in? Not particularly. Can the eel come out to play? I don't want to play with the eel. He wasn't nice to me last time we played with him. Over here we have... Oh, those are coins. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, I don't... There's supposed to be a uh, shell in a... One of those Koopa shells we could ride in, in there. Yeah, look at all these going. Oh, there's a shell. That's not helpful there. Yeah, some of these clams, you just have to wait for them to open. 
and that's how you get those red coins. It's another stage where the red coins are going to be scattered all about. Now our eel friend, who's not really our friend at all, is over here. Thank you, Mr. Eel. Get some health. That one-up is actually really kind of tricky to get. I think we have to go back up. We're going to go back up to the surface. You see, now after we got the first power star and the, in the sunken boat, the boat is no longer sunky sank. It's right there. Okay, now where's the eel? Oh, you dang eel. Okay, the eel has come out to play. As easy as to touch the star, like, right as soon as you can. Otherwise, you have to try and swim around and uh, get the... So you have to tag the star on the eel, then it'll go to that position, and then you grab it. Yeah, pretty simple. Back in for more Jolly Roger Bay. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Uh, this takes us to a part of the level we haven't been to yet. One of the reasons I wanted to unlock the metal cap and the, um, well, we don't really need vanish cap or wing cap for this, but we needed wing cap for Bob on Battlefield. We will need metal cap for here. You see that power star in the middle of the uh, jet stream there. The jet stream will push us away from it. I'm not going to worry about that one up. So we come over here into the Cave of Wonders. Oh, I wonder why it waited to hit me. Just to, I'm not, I'm not, Mario. Not getting the 100 coins right now, but notice, look at all those blue coins. That's 30 of the blue coins. Uh, the 30 coins just in the blue coins alone. So 100 coin challenge is going to require that, but it's pretty easy. So this one we have to... Sunken treasure. Yep, we have to pick the right order. Oh, the captain's not telling us. Oh, it's not that one. One, two, isn't it like kind of the same order as... yeah. Kind of the same order as the sunken ship. And that gets us another power star. Yeah, now that we have the three caps unlocked, we're just going to, uh... We're gonna power our way through here. I do have time for another one. I think I do. Red coins on the ship afloat. I don't have time for that. Can I do... Okay, we'll get through the jet stream. I'm gonna long jump our way out here. Notice when you're in water like this, you, uh, you just kind of sink around. You can run on the floor. That is probably going to cost me. Really? Oh, I think I have to take the... I think I have to take the one from this side. Eel? No. No being an eel. I used to not like Jolly Roger Bay, but over time I began to appreciate the water levels in this game. And they're not as bad as I once thought. I have to hit crouch before, not hit them at the same time. All 
Alright, let's see if we can get to... No. Just barely kind of missed it. Now oh, there's another red coin. Yeah, because water levels, you don't have to worry about your health too much. Just a few Goombas here, I don't really need them. I'm actually just going to keep running. Maybe this will improve my time here. There we go. Just barely got it. But that's through the jet stream completed, and next time we'll finish up Jolly Roger Bay, get the 100 coins, 8 red coins, and one more star that involves a cannon, and I'll see you guys then.